Hello and welcome to Fit Life with Alicia, day two. This is my daily accountability video. Uh, yesterday I talked about some of my goals and my aspirations um, for my future and one of those things is becoming a group fitness instructor. It's something I've wanted to do for at least a couple of years. I decided that I really wanted to do it, but years ago as I was going to classes at the gym, I was really enjoying them. They were they were really fun and, and I got a lot of, of good out of those classes. And I used to think, how do those those instructors do it? How do they, it seems so scary and so, so intimidating and I could never do that. And I spent a lot of years thinking that, but I think in the back of my mind, I kind of thought, well, I didn't actually think it, but I think in the back of my mind, I it became something that I might want to do in the future, but I put it off and I put it off because scary, right? I don't know how they do it. Um, but I recently, sort of recently, eight months ago, became certified as a group fitness instructor, but I've put off applying at the gym because I don't fit what would be the usual um, persona of a group fitness instructor. I'm not super fit. I overweight and I'm not, I don't, I just am not that super fit person. And most of the instructors classes that I go to are, and they do a great job and I really enjoy their classes. And I think, oh, I can't do that. I, I just, I'm not that person. And <clears throat> I know that I have to quit thinking that way. This is something that I really enjoy. It's something I think that not only would I have fun with, but it's a hurdle that I need to get over. It's something I feel like I need to do, but I feel really intimidated by it. So it's something that I know I need to just do, right? Get Shove myself out of my comfort zone and quit giving attention to those negative voices that tell me that I can't do it. And there's a lot of them uh, running through my head a lot. And so, I feel like there's some things that I need to improve upon before I can go and do that. And um, I know that I could lose weight, a little weight at least, but I'd really like to work on my endurance so that I can teach a class well and not get winded because that would be great. And I feel like I also need to be a good uh, example to the people who might come to my classes. And right now I feel like I'm not as great an example as I could be. And I don't expect to be perfect. I know I'm me and I just need to accept me and for who I am and, and I don't need to try and be somebody else. But I know that I do need to make some improvements and some changes in, in some bad habits that I have. And so that's why I started this daily accountability video to just state my intentions for the day, my plans for the day as far as exercise and as far as nutrition, which is really where I struggle, I like to exercise. It's not hard for me to, to get my workout in most days, but I really struggle in the food department. I like to eat out. My husband and I like to eat out a lot, and we don't very often make great choices when we do that. And so one of my big goals is trying to just eat at home more and cut out eating, eating out of the home. <clears throat> and so... My goal is to cut down to two times a week eating out and the rest of the time we eat at home and hopefully it's healthier meals, although I'm not as super focused on that yet, is just trying to break the habit of eating out as much and create a new habit of eating at home more often. Uh, and then in the future soon, and I do make healthy meals, but not as many as I'd like. So that will be the next step is focusing more on health, more healthy nutritional meals. <clears throat> so, um, kind of got off track there a little bit. I want to talk about my gratitude first for the day. And usually I think I'll just pick one thing and talk about it and why I'm grateful for it. And today, as I got up early this morning, I got up at five which is not normal for me. I am also trying to create a new habit of, of waking early and starting my day off in a great way instead of waking up at the last minute and rushing to get kids out the door and get on with the day. <clears throat> so I've been waking up at five o'clock for the last couple of months, really since the beginning of this year. And it's 
been going really well. I've really enjoyed it, which is great because I've tried before in the past and failed miserably a lot of times. But I I have this new goal and, and a, a different direction that I'm trying to take with my life and it feels easier for me to get up early. And so the thing that I'm grateful for is the sunrise each morning, which I have spent my entire life sleeping through the sunrise. And I've heard they're great but I haven't spent many mornings appreciating them. And today the sunrise was beautiful. And I was so grateful that I was awake. I was grateful for my eyesight, that I could take in the beautiful bright colors and enjoy a fresh brand new day starting. And I had some great plans for today and I was excited and I had started my day well. And so that's what I'm thankful for are the sunrises because I have not taken time in my life really ever to appreciate and enjoy that. So gratitude for that. And I just, gratitude is such an important thing that we can do to literally change our lives. If nothing else changes in our lives, if we just focus on things that we're grateful for and, and see the abundance that we already have in our lives without needing to get more, I have been shocked at what a difference it's made and it has been very intentional. I've had to spend time every day writing in my journal about what I'm thankful for and just really focusing on that. So gratitude, it's the real deal. People aren't kidding when they talk about it. It is, it is super, super helpful and having a happier, more peaceful life is what I'm finding. Okay. So I want to talk about how I did yesterday with my goals. I did stay on track with my food goals, which was great. I felt good. I ate healthy foods all throughout the day. Um, and I just, I felt good. I never felt hungry and, and it was good. So it was a good day and one good day. And I know not every day is going to be great. Some days will be harder. Some days I will feel like I'm failing and I know that I won't always eat perfectly and and that's okay that's not the goal to eat perfectly I just want to do better than I have been so that is the goal is to just do better and uh, so yeah yesterday went well and I'm grateful for that it makes me happy today it's midday pretty much I plan to make this video first thing in the morning and I didn't get around to it Um, but I did get my workout in I did a 45 minute Pilates mixed with cardio workout on YouTube from Pop Sugar, and those guys have a lot of really awesome videos, tons of them, and I've done only a couple of them, and I've really liked the ones I've done, so I'm grateful, again, that those are available for free on YouTube, and um, it was a great workout. I had to do a lot of the modifications uh, during that workout, and that was okay. I felt okay about that. I'd like to get to a point where I don't need to very often or ever, but for now that's where I'm at and I need to accept that. And, and I'm just, I know that I got my 45 minutes of workout in and it was a good, it was a good hard workout. And so that was great. I've been on with my food as well. And that feels really good too. Um, so that's where I'm at for today. Uh, Mike and I have plans to go on a date tonight, so we will be eating out tonight. It will not be probably a healthy meal, but we have set aside two days a week, two meals a week that we will go out to eat. And so this will be the first one for this week. And I'm looking forward to that. We love our date nights and spending time together. So yeah, it's going to be a great rest of the day and I will check back in with you tomorrow. Thanks.